man. So, Dr. Umar has got a lot to say about Kamala Harris. He said she reached out to him. Let's see what he got to say, man. I want to see this shit. I haven't heard it. I've been waiting to watch it with y'all, so I'm very interested to see what's going on. Let's go ahead and press play on this video. Black vote ain't for sale no more. Black vote ain't for sale. We bartering on business. We standing on business. Bring us some tangibles or get out of my face. Ricky Smiley, I love you. But crying on the radio for Kamala Harris, my brother? That's an all-time low. Don't do that again, Ricky Smiley. Don't you get on your radio show and cry for Kamala. Don't you do that, my brother. If you want to cry... For Kabama Harris, if you want to cry for Kabama Harris, you do that in the privacy of your house. But if we're going to be honest, Steve Harvey and Ricky Smiley, and I love you both, no hate to my big brothers. But if we're going to be honest, Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey, y'all only carried on because y'all got paid to carry on. Can we please be honest? Can we see? I want y'all to understand, overstand, and understand what King Kong is talking about. Y'all carried on because y'all got paid to carry on. Kamala Harris and the Democratic Plantation is paying you celebrities, paying you to shame black people into voting. Y'all know we not going to get nothing out of that vote. Y'all know we not going to get nothing out of that vote. Y'all know y'all not, we not going to get nothing out of the vote. But they being paid, y'all being bought. They offer me 10K for an interview with Kamala Harris. I don't want your money, but we can definitely do the interview. They offer me 10K for an interview with Kamala Harris. Yes, we can do the interview. Keep your damn money. King Kong consciousness ain't for sale. I'm one of the real ones. Silverback Garvey Gorilla. I'm one of the real ones. Silverback. Garvey Gorilla. Don't come to me with no propositions for money. And hey, he felt like he was spitting real quick. You see how he looked around and see somebody's hurting like, yeah, that's that shit right there. Say it one time. Silverback Garvey Gorilla. <laughs> I'm one of the real ones. Silverback Garvey Gorilla. Don't come to me with no propositions for money. I don't live for no money. I'm not one of these goofy ass rappers whose whole life is nothing but what you can buy and own. You dealing with real African DNA. This is real ancestral energy over here. I'm not no Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey. You don't drop no check off and say, get the Negroes to the plantation on November the 4th. You don't drop no check off and say, get the Negroes to the plantation. I wonder what he would do if they said they'll donate to that school, get up and running. Well, what would he do then? Let's look at some reactions though. This person right here says, "Nigga, shut the funk up. What you want us to do then? Vote for Trump or just not vote? It's a lesser evil. Quit complaining. This nigga is full of shit. Love the good doc, but this is a lie. <laughs> no way in hell Kamala would talk to Umar. She's not even doing interviews or talking to the press. Where's the school ninja? He look like he needs 10k. So is he voting for Trump? Hella caps. I grow more respect for this man's word each day. And with that, I take back some of the ill will that I may have towards him. I still disagree with some points, but ultimately, his intentions are good and should be well received by all. To those you are listening, open your ears and minds wide and take it all in like adults. Person says, I'm a still fantasize about white women, but I agree. This is what Dr. Umar is referring to. He got a text message. I don't know what the correspondence was from this person, but he posted this on his Instagram. It says, hello, Dr. Umar Johnson. From the Harris 2024 team, you are a big part of the black community. Can you help us by completing a Zoom meeting with Kamala Harris Payne Blank? Are looking for about an hour of your time. Please advise if you would like to complete the Zoom call. Your help can get us across the finish line. Harris 2024. And this is what he said in response to this person texting him. Peace and Pan-Africanism. I hope that all is well. I'm not interested in your money. However, I am very interested in in having the Zoom conversation with Vice President Harris to discuss our needs and her plans for the black community. This Zoom must be live casted to the national black community and may not be pre-recorded. I promise to be completely respectful of the president, of the vice president, but I will ask our direct questions about miseducation, mass incarceration, police brutality, economic strangulation, gentrification, migrant crisis, reparations, and the need for the for a federal anti-black hate crimes bill. So in response to that, people saying motherfucker post a spam account, complete a Zoom meeting sounds like an offshore scam to me. 
Ain't no way Kamala team doesn't have an iPhone. Man, I think the team will send a damn text message. I get 100 of those texts in Delhi. I'm not surprised the dummies in the comment section believe this. These are the same people still giving this fraud money for a school he was supposed to build 15 years ago. What y'all think about that, bro? Have that in the comment section, but let's get to like what he was referencing. First, here goes what he's talking about with Steve Harvey. This one I didn't hear. Let's let's peep this. Let's peep this. Before y'all start calling my radio show and DMing me, talking about why you ain't asked no hard-hitting questions, that ain't what this is. I'm throwing a lob. This is an alley-oop for a dunk. Because this administration needs to get the word out of what they're actually doing and what they're actually accomplishing so we can stop all this foolishness about what you're doing for black people. Can't nobody come out with no agenda and call it this for black people and expect to get in the White House. You got to play the game different. Y'all know what this is. So now this next question is another lie for her to dump. Because they done done a lot, man. But we, we see, I'm on this radio show. I'm hearing all these people talk about, I'm not voting. They not doing nothing for us. Listen to me. If you do not vote, the analytics will show. They know how many women vote, how many, they know the age you are when you vote. If we don't vote, how are we going to ask for something next time? Before y'all start. Hmm. I feel two type of ways about that shit. Two type of ways about that. For one, I do think this country is racist enough that if the president has a set out flat out plan for black folks that they will not get elected. If they're black. If they're black. What I hate is that people call the black community to poverty. And they think that supplying in people that are poor with resources is helping the black community. When you have a lot of people that's in the middle class that are black, that are forgotten. When they need more help because they more than likely are the first people in their family in said position, and they don't have a father that's been killing it for years and go help out with this, that, and third far as resources. They probably just doing whatever they can stretching themselves thin to make shit work, make shit pop, and the middle class, they're the forgotten class. So those are the black folks that are fed up with the Democratic Party because they feel like they're forgotten. So they want answers. They want something moving forward. Those are the people that are the most loudest because they are possibly on the, the verge of going to that next extra line of, um, as far as pay grade going to, you know, get more and more bread. So they thinking in their mind as many people that's getting a lot more money and they think the only way I can get there is possibly crossing over because these other folks who I've been giving my loyalty to, they're not doing anything for me. I hear so many stories about people who've been loyal to the Democratic Party that are in the middle class that may still need some help, but it's just because they've done better for themselves, they can't get any help at all. You feel me? Such as single mothers, but still may need a little more assistance to help themselves out. But just because that they've done better than some Project Hood rat or trailer park trash, that trailer park trash get all the assistance in the world while the person is actually working hard for themselves, don't get no help at all. Those are the black folks that have an issue with what's going on in the Democratic Party. So they want answers. They want to know what are you going to do for them, for them. They're tired of being always pushed into the same box as the people that receive the government assistance. We know they're going to be good, but we're trying to go beyond that point. Because where we at right now, how things are at this point in time, those folks are on the same level as the immigrants that's coming in at the same time. The immigrants and the post people that don't want to work for shit, they all are getting the most assistance. So that is the issue that has to be addressed. If that's not addressed, then it's going to be a problem. That's going to be what's going to lose the election if that's not addressed. Kamala did speak on one of her rants, I believe when she was in Atlanta, that she's going to focus on the middle class, but you need to say more and more things out loud that's going to address that community to let them know that you are focusing on them for sure. If not, they're going to think it's the same old thing over and over again as far as you ignoring them and they don't know what to do but just go with it, at least the mentality of this other party as far as getting it out the mud, not looking for help because I'm not gonna get it. They are gonna just rock with that next group because you're not gonna look out for me specifically for being black. 
You're not going to look up for me specifically for being in the middle class or whatever. So I might as well try to go ahead and make more and more money. And when I make more and more money, let me make sure it's protected by, by with me going with this group. That's the conversation I'm seeing. I'm just trying to be a mouthpiece from what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing. Okay? Now, this is what Ricky Smiley had to say. Are you excited about uh, Tim Walls? I, I already know Man, the answer yeah. to that question. Always. What always. excites you the most about him? Oh, just that he's just a regular, like he remind you of your, your your high school principal. He remind you of your high school football coach, and he was a football coach that led his team to a national, uh, not national, but to a state, a, a champion. state championship. And uh, he is just awesome. He's for the people. He stand up for women's rights, and he's a popular governor in the great state of Minnesota, which Trump won in 2016. That state was picked off by Joe Biden, and I think we'll definitely get uh, uh, his state and the state of Pennsylvania as well. Uh, either one of those governors would have been a great choice uh, for Kamala Harris. Uh, I'm just sick of the black people on the internet talking about I'm not with her. Okay, so if you're not with her, that means you with Trump. Y'all need to block every last one of their asses on Facebook and on Instagram and social media and stop. Like that's just that's just garbage. Yeah, it's just yeah. garbage. Can Everybody we be united got to find, on anything? And, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't be like can't agree on a damn. Uh, bucket of chicken. One person want a hot dog. I always complain. Black folks get on my damn nerves, man. What you? <laughs> why everybody making all, all these celebrities making all these videos going off on Kamala Harris and stuff? And then the black men, Kamala Harris didn't prosecute you and, and treated you bad in court. I got treated bad in court too, but I'm with her because a, a vote for her. Uh, uh, if you sit at home and you don't support her, you're supp you you are definitely supporting. Donald Trump, you can vote for who you want to, but don't be trying to encourage other people and sit up there and put bad stuff. Where's that same energy for Donald Trump? Yeah. Well, you know, you know what I'm, saying? I'm, I'm just like, don't and, and, and vote for not, him. It is what it is. They're not even doing, y'all not even out here doing real research. To look at her record. If you do the research or whatever, stop believing everything you read and do real research, you can see what her record is. You can see what she have done. I think you can Google what have Kamala Harris done for the black community. Are things that black that, that black people benefit from a lot. We need a to stand lot. with her. Yes. We need to stand with her. She's Absolutely. great. She will make a great president. And what a blessing to be living in a time where a black woman can become president of the United States of America. In our time, we get a black man and a black woman become president. That's unheard of. Come on, man. Stop mm. it. Message. Be on Stop the right it, side of people. history. Be yeah. on Stop the right it. side of history. That's so, it's just the Amber Rose and, and everybody got all these videos and stuff and talking about Kamala Harris talking out of both sides of her. How would you say something so disrespectful, even if you felt that way? I wouldn't dare make a video or say nothing like that to the vice president of the United States of America that's trying to stand up and that's going to uh, possibly pick two United States Supreme Court justices uh, or whatever to try to keep the laws in place that Thurgood Marshall and all of the people that have paved the way and try to redo and get back into some of this settled law, uh, women's rights to choose, your voting rights and Brown versus the Board of Education. Do your homework, black well, hold people. Up. Let, let, me, let me just tell you something right here that could be very historic and Kay pointed this out to me. If Kamala Harris is elected, she would be sworn in. She could be sworn on in MLK by, Day by the first black Supreme and Court and possibly woman by Katanji Brown Jackson. Yeah. Wow. Does Stop that it. not give you chills? Come on, Stop now. it. Does not does you. that not send Maria just I, make I, your I can, whole body can, vibrate? Maria, oh my I can gosh. go deep in the net. You got a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Reading in a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated into the damn White House. What's Come wrong on, with y'all? Oh, Come on, on man. MLK holiday. But y'all mad because she ain't talking about who, reparations. Who was a man, member? Who was a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated? Come on, now. Come on now. Game. Oh my God, Game that just gave me dog. chills. Mm. That gave Rocky. me chills. Game changer, Rocky. dog. Game. Man, talk better, about game. Y'all better come get me off this radio we, today. Hey, we, hey, you can keep going. You want to keep today. going, dog? You want to keep today. going? Oh, they going to be mad at you today, Rick. Hey, man. I don't care. Well, stop to me. Stop to me. Stop to me. Go, go, go. 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 I, I don't care about who get mad. I know I'm right. Exactly. I know I'm right. Y'all need to stop. Do y'all realize Mega Evers died for voting rights? All these people that have risked their lives from slavery up until the civil rights movement just where we can have an opportunity to, to, to do what we do, to do what we can do. We ain't never seen, we ain't seen nothing like this since Barack Obama was running for president in 2008. 
We need to stop. All right, now Meat Mill says shit. Let me go ahead and get in the game, man. He says, um, I want to ask Kamala Harris questions about her past as a DA, even if she has to be tough. All I hear is rumors of her. I would ask her three questions about black and brown men going to prison and her views and try to help her understand from a survivor standpoint that she may have never had to encounter. Listen, man, I think I said enough. One thing about me that a lot of people hate is that I don't conform. One video, you may think I'm a Trumper. Next video, you may think I'm a Kamala Harris paid YouTuber or something like that. I'm gonna tell you my opinion, my thoughts, because I'm for me. I'm gonna be the first person to tell y'all I'm selfish. I'm for me and my family, my people. And if it makes sense for that, that's what I'm rocking with. You feel me? I told y'all before, things that Trump said, I don't think I could ever get behind things that he says or the people that he agree with, he rock with in, in totality. It's hard for me to do that. But at the same damn time, with the Democratic Party has going on and, and then still feeling like, you know, I may end up being in that ignored group that I talked about earlier, that can give me some cause for pause. You feel me? But let me know what you got to say in the comment section below. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, though. This is another update with Stace. Y'all. <laughs>